Welcome to this Flubaroo tutorial. I think you're going to find this a great addition to your Google Docs. As you'll notice here, I've created a Google form that allows me to begin the process of quickly assessing uh, student work. If I go into the live form, you'll see I've, I've already created the questions and those are in a Google form. Notice I've also included um, their first name, last name, and that's important, as you'll soon see. So the first thing we have to do is actually take this test ourselves, and so that we can create the answer key. So I'm going to title the first name as answer key, last name key, and quickly take the quiz. Now notice I'm just going to fill this in randomly because right now it's more important that you just understand the process. So there you go. I'm going to submit this. And back in our Google form, our Google spreadsheet, you'll notice there it is. And the answer key is created. So as a teacher, you can now send this out. You're ready to go. Let students take the quiz themselves. So what I'm going to do is go to the live form and I'm going to pretend to be a few students so you'll see me quickly take these quizzes so that we have a number of responses. All right. Ryan's just filling in random answers. Trying to stay consistent. Okay, so Ryan's done. Jen is also completing her exam. She's a little bit more thoughtful. And finally, Stephanie is taking the quiz. Okay, so that's enough. You get the idea. And as a teacher, I see a number of responses. I have the answer key. I have Ryan, Jen, and Stephanie. So obviously this can be a number of your whole class taking this. Now as a teacher, you're actually ready to let Flubaroo do its magic. So with that all done, you'll notice that I have this little column called Flubaroo. I'm going to click there and have it grade the assignment. It's now running the script. Now what I can do right off the bat is I have to set a grading option for each question. So notice Flubaroo actually does a good job of good job of trying to identify for you what it is. First name, last name identifies the student. That's good. So you don't have to do anything there. The other options we're going to give them on a scale of one point, but I could change that. I could actually also skip grading that if I so choose. Okay, we'll continue. Our grading step one is set up. We're ready to go. Step two tells me which submission is the answer key. That's why I choose to title it first name answer, last name key. It makes it easier. So Ryan, Jen, and Stephanie will be judged against the answer key that we submitted first. Once I click continue, Flubaroo is gonna work its magic and it's gonna grade the assignment. Now you'll notice another tab opened up here and the grading's been complete. So let's take a look at what we have. Ryan scored a 25%, Jen scored a 25%, and Stephanie scored a 50%. And as we walk across here we can see what percentage got each question right. And we have one that got 66%. So it's kind of nice to see some of the basic pieces it puts together. Points possible, average points, gives you some general information. But what's really nice is that's been quickly assessed for you. So that's it. That's how Flubaroo works. And I hope you'll find yourself using this tool to for your formative assessments and quick way to get students to get their feedback and for you to understand um, some gaps in their knowledge.